We did it. All right. <gasps> Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> I recently went to Bangkok to eat at the restaurant Gagan, which is this modern Indian restaurant that serves 25 different courses within the span of two hours. It was an amazing dining experience. And if you've seen Gagan's show on Chef's Table, you'll see that he's known for this yogurt explosion. That was the first dish he came up with and it's the only dish that's consistently remained on the Gagan menu. And now since I've been experimenting with spherification over the past few months, I wanted to recreate the yogurt explosion on my own. For his yogurt explosion, Gagan used the reverse spherification method. This basically meant he made a sodium alginate bath and with the yogurt, which contains enough calcium, once it was dropped in the sodium alginate bath, a film starts forming around the yogurt when sodium alginate and calcium mix together. And then with that film, it encloses the piece of yogurt. You can eat the yogurt and you can store these things within some kind of oil bath for about a week. So for the reverse spherification method, a bit of pre-planning is needed. You'll need to make the sodium alginate bath 24 hours before you undergo the spherification process. Let's review what we'll need for this. Of course, an important ingredient is the sodium alginate. This you can buy on Amazon. There's no way to do it cheaply or to make your own at home. I know, I try to research it. I ended up just sucking it up and buying it on Amazon. I also have two types of scale because weight is extremely important in this method. I have a scale for larger measures such as the water that I'll be putting in here and for tinier things like the sodium alginate. Also there's a blender and cold refrigerated water. For the spherification bath, we're going to make a solution that is 0.5% sodium alginate to water by weight. Since I want to do a 500 gram water bath, I need to put in 2.5 grams of the sodium alginate. Got it. And now let's measure out 500 grams. So I've read online, it's easier to add the sodium alginate while we're blending. Oh. Well, that was not supposed to happen. Okay. Now you'll see the solution looks very cloudy now. And that's because there's actually a lot of little bubbles in there. And so having the solution be so filled with bubbles is gonna make it difficult for us to go through the spherification process. There's basically too many bubbles in the way. So what we're going to have to do is leave this in the fridge overnight. And then that way the bubbles are going to float up and disperse. So today I'm with my friend Alex. Hi who is also Ina Gagan, so we know what the yogurt explosion is supposed to be like, so we can try doing it on our own. We're just gonna season our yogurt with different flavorings in order to make it a savory yogurt. So we got some salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper filling. Okay, Alex, ready to taste it, see if it tastes good as a yogurt. Very savory, that's really good. Yay, okay. I trust your taste. I'm not even going to taste it. <laughs> I'm not even going to double check. Now we got the sodium alginate bath. I'm just going to pour it in this bowl. It's a lot more clear now. You don't see the bubbles you saw last time. And now, the moment of truth. I'm going to get a scoop of the yogurt and hopefully the calcium in it will react to the sodium alginate bath and form a little Uh, uh, uh. It's kind of happening. Whoa. Science. <gasps> I think it's happening. Yeah, yeah. Now we just gotta spin it around so all the sides cook, so to speak. It's like a post egg. Beautiful yogurt. 
babies. After a couple minutes in the sodium alginate bath, we're just gonna rinse it off in water now. We don't want it to stay in the sodium alginate bath for too long because then the skin is going to start getting thicker and thicker and you're gonna have less and less liquid on the inside. Okay, and so I think we can do a second rinse now. And now it should be clean, not tasting of sodium alginate. We can put it on our little spoon. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm gonna really pay attention to my spoon this time. Okay. okay. Cheers. Mmm, well. Mm. I think we did a good job. Mm. I just wish the yogurt was like thicker. Yeah. Like a Greek yogurt would be nice. Mmm, but that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good. Try it at home. <laughs> That was an easy one to try at home as long as you have a molecular gastronomy kit. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <See you. laughs> Great, awesome. <laughs>